Welcome back to my channel, Sam Walking Jr. On this channel, we discuss police accountability and knowledge of your constitutional rights. Today's video is about this woman who was harassed by the Mesa Police Department by the guidance of Child Protective Services. This video was submitted to me via email and it takes place in Mesa, Arizona. This woman and her daughter are at the hospital in the aftermath of her granddaughter's birth. A CPS representative comes to inform her that the house that she resides in needs to be inspected. This woman gets her phone out to record the interaction and this is what happened next. Um, that she was saying that for you both to be able to discharge home, for people to be able to discharge home with you, they have to come back home. Go home. Well, I'm here. Are so. You, are you grandma? Yeah. Hi, I'm Denise. Um, so, Hannah was going to get in touch with you guys. I think she's going to come by the house the other day. Okay. <laughs> Why didn't she come by then? She I mean, did. I'm she here. She by the house. She said nobody answered the door. No, she didn't come by my house. I've, I've been there all day. I mean, she would have left a card or something in the door. There's no card. I, I allegedly got a phone call with a voicemail. I have no phone call, no voicemail. I mean, I'm here now, so she's going to have to wait until I get home because I'm not driving all the way back home because she wants to see a bassinet. So do what you got to do so we can go. Okay. So what DCS said to me was that... I don't care. Get the discharge papers or we're walking out the door. So get it together. I'm here now. They want to see me later. Tell her to come on by and knock on the window if she if she came by. Cause I didn't hear anybody knock on my door. And she did not leave a car for me to contact her. So tell her to get it together. Thank you. Have a good day. Like, I'm sure you I, you can't possibly be holding up a discharge over a bassinet. I'm not holding it. I mean, over a bassinet, though. I mean, think about it. Like, are you? is everybody patrolling everybody that goes home to see if they have a bassinet? Like, why wouldn't she have a bassinet? She just had a baby. You know, it just it's, this is ridiculous. So tell whoever the hell you're talking about to come over later if she wants. But right now, we're getting ready to go because I'm here, I'm tired, and I'm ready to go. I'm just letting you know what DCS and That's fine. Is and I'm, I'm just letting you know what I'm saying. To discharge baby okay, without, well, I guess we're just going to be walking out the baby. door, right? I guess we're just going to be walking out the door. Because I'm not driving back home to show this lady a damn bassinet. Okay. Let me try to get a hold of the, um, the supervisor for DCS. Do what you got to do. Okay. All right. Get ready, baby. Okay. You know, Hannah had four days to do this. Like, why, why are we doing this right now? Um, well, I just called the supervisor to make sure that they have the correct phone number, okay? I understand that, but that's not what I asked you. Are you just going to walk away like I'm not talking to you? This woman decides to call CPS and inform them they do not have the right to search her home. CPS's response to this is sending Mesa Police Department to her residence and threatening her and scaring her. Their reasoning and twisting of words you're about to see is a direct reflection of how the Mesa Police Department allows their group of tyrants to operate. Props to this lady for being brave and asserting her rights. Why are you knocking like that? Mesa Police, open the door. Why are you knocking like that? Because you're not answering the door. I don't have to answer the door. What yes, do you, you want? Do. Open the door, please. What do you want? We need to do a welfare check. No. Yes, we do. Says who? Says the United States government. Oh, yeah? The Mace Police Department. Okay. As which I am a representative, so please open the door. No, thank you. What's your name and badge number? My name and badge number is Officer Freestad, 19662. Okay. I think it was Sam 44 copying. Who's inside with you? I'm at, I'm at the window, so stop, stop knocking at the window. Let's check out the forecast. 
Not going away. Okay. Did you bring a warrant? Did you bring a warrant with you? We are here to assist with another. I didn't ask you that. Did you bring a warrant? We are here to assist. With Did you bring a warrant? That's a yes or no question, sir. We are here to assist with another agency, ma'am. What agency is that, sir? Who's inside with you, ma'am? I don't answer questions. It's fine. What's your name? Now you all seen what I was talking about. These officers bang on her door so loud that it is causing a disturbance. They then bang on the window and have the audacity to say that they are reasonable people. This woman knows her rights and doesn't allow them to trick her into opening her door. In situations like this, it does not matter what the officers say or do. They are not allowed to enter the residence unless a warrant is issued. They already stated it was for a welfare check. And even on the behalf of CPS, officers do not have the right to enter your home. Be sure to head on over to Stop Injustice channel, subscribe, and let her know Sam Watkins Jr. sent you. She's been sending me her videos through email but I have encouraged her to upload them to her channel so you guys be ready for that thank you guys for watching and remember know your rights and always record I'm trying not to be rude to you sir but I, I don't answer questions what's your name who else is inside with you I can hear another voice So do you have your warrant with you? I just told you we're here to assist with another agency. So that's a no? We are here to assist. All right, that's a yes or no question. Can you answer the question? We are I understand that, agency. but yes or no? You have to ask that agency, ma'am. We are here to assist with that agency. Okay, so they didn't hand you a warrant or nothing? We are here to assist with another agency. Oh, okay. Well, tell them to come to the door. Tell the other agency you're talking about. So we can talk to you like reasonable people. Well, I mean, I don't answer questions, sir, so it doesn't matter. You're being unreasonable. You're Why? Asserting my rights? It's being unreasonable? Asserting my rights is being unreasonable, sir? You're being unreasonable. We, I just told you we're here to do a welfare check. We, the Mesa Police Department, are here to do a welfare check. That is not unreasonable. Didn't you take an oath to the Constitution, sir? I just told you we are here to do a welfare check, ma'am. So fuck the Constitution is what you're saying? We are here to assist in a welfare check. Oh, okay. First Amendment rights, I'ma speak my mind I don't care about how you feel, cause I'm living mine Paid them tax dollars, I put in some overtime I keep my camera rolling, I don't believe it was a crime We caught watch, watch us hold them accountable, they ain't about nothing Cause we be standing our ground and we is not running And this is all real life, so learn a lot from it God watch God watch God watch God watch 
stop watching.